seven six five. Hi, and welcome to the audio commentary for my Aruba dive video. This is looking east on the approach toward Aruba, a United Airlines out of Chicago O'Hare. And on the left side there, you can see a Palm and Eagle Beach. The Antilla Shipwreck is there and will be there in a few moments. There's the harbor you'll see right there. And it has, you can see the cruise ship terminal. And there's Ornstadt City proper. Uh, this was photographed between the 15th of, and 22nd of June, 2013. The footage is a mix of iPhone and Sea Live dive camera digital video edited in Adobe Premiere Elements. And here's the landing there, and you can see the beach distance. So the first uh, wreck that we're going to see is the Jane Sea Wreck. This was uh, photographed on the 19th of June, 2013. It is a depth of 90 feet. Uh, it was a concrete freighter, and from what I understand, uh, the dive masters have said that it uh, contained a shipment of controlled substances, which was confiscated and destroyed by the government. Uh, the, the shipment was never claimed. The ship was never claimed. Uh, the ship was then sunk as a natural reef and uh, used for the pleasure of uh, divers. Uh, so as I approached this, uh, we were uh, jumped into the water uh, much further out. And I noticed the approach was uh, a nice attractive shot, so I uh, moved along very slowly trying to approach it for a nice shot. There's a nice swim through there on the right-hand side of, your, of the image. And here's uh, Clive from Dive with Clive. Uh, I recommend him to di for divers who like long bottom times of an hour or so and uh, long, uh, depending upon your air consumption. Although his boat is a small lifeboat-sized vessel with uh, no bathroom or other uh, facilities. And here we are floating through the entrance into the larger uh, open bay of this uh, former concrete freighter. And this was uh, quite enjoyable kind of hanging out here. Um, in the wide open uh, area. You could go from one end to the other in a matter of um, a few minutes just floating, uh, enjoying the buoyancy. Here's a couple of other divers. There's one other diver uh, who was with us uh, on this trip and or on this particular dive and that person did not choose to go through this entrance here. Go to the main bay area. Um, kind of look around. There's some stuff floating around in the air. These particles that break off the uh, ship. Very nice wide open area. I was uh, quite quite enjoyed this uh, very much. And here's some uh, sergeant's major fish looking down on the main uh, bay from a higher point of view at a different point in the dive. And here's some uh, tube sponges that are near the front of the ship. A nice contrasting uh, purple color. Um, kind of a, or maybe a light purple or a violet color if you like, uh, contrasting with the green of the uh, ship. Uh, and there's some more tube sponges on the side there, kind of waving in the uh, uh, current. And then there's a port uh, with some stairs that lead down in the front of the ship there. And here's a few more barnacled areas of the ship with the various um, poles sticking out. Um, and you can see the um, some more of the tube sponges here on the side and a couple of other uh, divers. You can see the other diver there down there in the center uh, who didn't go with us into the main uh, body of the ship. And then I decide to end it on the anchor, or the, not the anchor, but the uh, propeller back at the, on the back. And here's the Antilla wreck. This is uh, a stolen image out of Google Earth to try to give an establishing shot because I go into the details of the shipwreck and it's very difficult to understand what it looks like. So I put it, put that in as a uh, establishing shot. This is at a depth of about 60 feet. This was filmed on the, or photographed on the 17th of June, 2013. And the uh, one part of it that's broken off in the, uh, bro of the ship that's broken off, um, uh, sticks out of the water or just about, maybe at low tide it might, but it's really a, maybe about 10 feet down. And you can see that right there. Um, you can see that's about maybe 10 feet uh, below the surface there. And there's a wide open uh, bay area in here uh, as well. Kind of a nice place to float. You can see the other fish there. and um, The water is actually clearer than this video conveys. This is with a, a lens cap or a lens a filter, I should say, to try to uh, make the color uh, correct. 
Um, and what we're doing is we're going through the, um, the crew area of the ship here, uh, going through that, uh, the cabins um, in that area. We're going to do the swim through here in a moment. There's uh, looking back up toward the, that half of the ship there. And uh, when we go through these, I try to uh, try to avoid as much as I can anyway, uh, just photographing the back of the tank of the guy in front of me. I try to point to sort of the side, either the left side or the right side, or I cut the video so that it minimizes that. Uh, so I've done that to as much a degree as, as is practical uh, to try to get this, um, try to make the video um, to the point and uh, enjoyable. Uh, here's a bunch of silver fish. You can see this uh, very tiny fish that are just all over inside the ship here. And we went through a kind of a, a cramped cabin area with a bunch of uh, portholes that are open above and or to the side I should say. We're kind of looking looking around as we go through the ship here. And here's an eel, which you can see pointed out. You'll have to, might have to reverse the video and look at it again. Uh, but I did not realize I had that footage quite that good until I looked at it at the, at the hotel uh, later in the day after the uh, dive. And we're mo just moving through. Uh, so we're in the side of the ship here, between j the side and sort of the inner section here. We're going through another swim area that's at the back of the ship, uh, really. And we're gonna, basically going to go down through this, uh, what skeletal remains uh, are there are of the uh, back of the ship here, going through this really tight uh, shell of uh, what's left of the ship in this area. And here's an establishing shot or a, a kind of a wider shot of the side here with uh, another diver off in the distance to kind of give it scale. And here's uh, one point of the ship uh, from the side, from the very bottom. So this would be at about, I'll uh, say 90 feet or so. And there's a turtle that we uh, encountered down there. Very uh, not much sea life. Uh, I did not encounter much sea life while I was down there. And here's a school of fish uh, that I uh, had encountered. Um, and I decided to um, film them and see where they were going, what they were seeking out. Uh, so I kind of slowly approached them and moved up to the side of the ship um, to look at, see where the school of fish were going. I don't know if they were sophomores or juniors or seniors. Uh, but there they are. <laughs> and then they moved up in this direction um, through this uh, swim portal, and I used that as a kind of way to end it. And I thought that was an interesting, um, what they were doing. And this is kind of a shot looking away as we uh, end the video here, that section. So now we're at the pilot boat wreck, which is a very small uh, wreck here. Um, the dive was very, this was a very easy dive and it was a shipwreck of, of not great size, but uh, still it was an enjoyable, easy dive and it was uh, something to look at, I guess, um, if you're a shipwreck fan more than uh, anything else. I think the, really the only thing of substance down in Aruba is the shipwrecks. The reefs uh, were not um, of significance in my opinion. And here's the Marriott, which is where I stayed, and I stayed on the right-hand side as you're facing it there, uh, toward the adult pool there, very nice area. Um, and then here's California Lighthouse at the, on the Rashi Beach from a distance. This is from shot from an iPhone video. Uh, this is actually the approach. Uh, this might be Cuba or some area like that. 
uh, on the way down to Aruba, and I just liked the way the clouds were sol uh, in the sky, solid in the sky like that. And we end as we began. Thank you for watching and listening. I hope you've enjoyed it.